we are, in the United States, one of the most diverse countries in the history of the world. That's a tremendous asset. We know that's an asset. To this day, we still accept more immigrants in this country than the rest of the world combined. It's astounding, right? And we should be even more accepting of that. But here's the thing. In this kind of environment, once again, the myth of the average is going to hurt us worse because it leads us to create environments that work against what are our three greatest assets, the focus on the individual, our diversity, and our capacity for innovation. And another thing that really bothers me where this average is really harming us is in the way we assess learning. Not only in a school, but think about our love affair right now with global comparisons. It says the United States is falling behind on measures of things on average. I'm not saying that's good. I am saying that may not be the right way to think about it. You know, when we compare ourselves to places like Finland, I love Finland. It's a great country. They, do, they should be applauded for their success. But they are five million people. They have a deep commitment to equality of educational opportunity. And they have roughly 3% of their students live in, at poverty or below. In the United States, on average, it's 24%. When you disaggregate the United States data by districts that only have 10% less poverty level, those districts outperform everybody else in the world by a long shot. So it may not be an issue of average performance. It's, a, it's an issue of unequal access to quality resources. But then when we get so focused on improving the average, it leads us to do things, to use our resources in ways that may be counterproductive. So I think that the secret is not to try to win on average, but redefine this to think about judging ourselves by our ability to create environments that truly nurture the broadest spectrum of talent possible. And it's a different game. And it will require rethinking a lot of things, but it's possible.